Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about questions that you should be ready to answer, especially right now it's like post pandemic. Um, things have changed and a lot of times people are not ready because they think that we went back to old version of pre pandemic, but no, things have changed so there are some interview questions that are post pandemic you should be ready to answer it shouldn't really throw you off because you should be thinking about them number one is how did your company communicate and manage employees during covid so this question they kind of like want to know if you are able or have experience in communicating any related activities that needed to be done because communication is very important so if you look at every job description it will tell you that you will need to have some interpersonal skills and communication skills the next question is were you afraid of losing your job it's really personal to everyone it depends on what you are in your life like in what situation you are if you live with your parents did you feel like you were afraid to lose a job because you have parents paying your bills when you are living by yourself and you have like uh, all the expenses coming through especially with the rent so how would you respond to were you afraid of losing your job so be honest with it you know don't mention a lot of about your expenses mention more about your capabilities your career growth maybe it can hurt you because you have a gap something like that something to that nature the next question is what did you do when you were laid off this is something that i mentioned before the way you can answer it especially like when you have a gap companies laid off a lot of people so it's natural for them to see that you have a gap but they want to know what did you do during that time i explained in details in here but i will reiterate that you should really consider of either volunteering either doing something remotely like a side hustle or doing something like taking courses online just to just to get into the habit of not forgetting and, and being up to date i have some links in the description there that you can go and get some courses online so you can get yourself certificates and trainings that you need and include that on the resume also, I mentioned that the resumes are actually changing. So take a look at that video that I sent here. And these resumes are going to be more about remote skills that you have, remote skills that you need to acquire. So if you don't have the skills, you can go and learn it. The link is going to be in the description. Next one is what are your preferred method of communication in working remotely? Is it text? Is it email? Is it Zoom? Is it recorded webinars? Is it like a conference? Is it one-on-one? -on -one? What is your preferred working communication? Did you have previous remote working experience? I think everyone does. Everyone does. Whether you are in college and you have remote online learning, or you had spoken on the phone with a customer or in, if you are a salesperson or you have been replying via email to your boss or to your colleagues or to your customers this is considered remote so yes you should consider that you have working experience remote working experience what do you do differently now so think about that question. What is it that you do differently now? Do you communicate more on the phone? Do you now create videos? Do you now do a lot of tutorials online? Do you learn more? Do you read more books? What is it that you do differently now? How do you clock out? That question is probably asked because the company wants to learn how they themselves can advance but also the test and see if you are computer savvy, if you know any apps and any websites and whatever the company is used. In my previous work, when I was in a pandemic situation, we had a log that is 
kind of like old-fashioned way you, you do a template on a word document and that log will just tell you what do you do each hour and that way you are not being paid by hour but you're being paid through the whole day because you are a full-time employee but if you are considering to be a virtual assistant or remote work the company provides the clock in and clock out app that they use however if you are familiar get yourself familiar how you can clock in and clock out remotely i have actually some videos that i did over here that explains for hr managers what they use for clock in and clock out and other tools this also will be listed in the description the link so you can check it out what makes you excited to get up in the morning i would love to hear you in the comments what excites you to get to work every morning for me what excites me is i need to get up and start working do my job see new people at work so i work with little kids i'm a special ed instructor so for me i get up every morning just to see them it excites me to see what difference i make in their life especially when they have a mild disability and this is some or, or some delay it for everyone is different therefore i would like to know in the comment what makes you excited to get up in the morning and go to work so that's it for today subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and like this video that helps my channel a lot share this video to your friends who are looking for a job for a long time and they don't know what to do next so give them some prep give them this video as a prep and hopefully they'll get a job as soon as possible i'll see you on the next one